Hey guys, in this session we're going to be looking at um, some factorizing questions. Now, if you don't know how to factorize, just check the description and I have put a couple of links uh, to some of my other videos on how to factorize. Okay, let's get started. So, the first question we have here is, this is the question we're dealing with, a right angle triangles area is given by 2x squared plus 4x. Uh, its base length is 2x, and it's asking you for how high is this triangle. So, to get started on this question, first off, you, ought to, you have to know what the area of a triangle is. Now, area of the triangle can be written as half times base times height. Okay, now you might be wondering, why, what has this got to do with factorizing? Well, you need to know how to factorize to actually work out um, what the height is. Um, also guys, there's many ways in how this question can be done. Um, I'm only going to show you guys one or two methods to show, um, get through the, to get the answer. But yeah, pretty much this. Heaps of ways you can do this. Alright, so the first method I'm going to do is area is 2x squared plus 4x. Um, and I know what the base is. The base is 2 times x multiplied by the height. I mean, this is the gen generic idea. From here, there's two ways of actually solving this. So the first method I'm going to choose is I'm going to um, do this, so 2x squared plus 4x. Now, half times 2x can be written as x multiplied by h. So the next part is uh, I need to actually rearrange um, so that h is by itself. So I'm going to divide both sides by x. All right, so when I do this, uh, my two x's on the right hand side cancel out and I only have h left and I have 2x squared plus 4x divided by x. So this is the height um, but of course we can actually factorize, um, we can simplify this a bit more so we can write this as height is equal to 2x squared over x plus 4x over x which means we simplify this as height is equal to 2x plus 4. So that's one way of doing it. And I know that's not really factorizing. It's just rearranging. But like I said, there's more than one way of how to do this. Now, if you were to factorize from here, um, you're going to go into 2x squared plus 4x so half times 2x is x so x is being multiplied by h now if you look at the left hand side you can actually see that x is a common factor so you can actually take x out as a common factor and when you do that you get 2x plus 4 equals x times h and so from here we can say therefore h is equal to 2x plus 4 so, like I said, guys, I mean, I know I keep, I'm going to keep repeating this in this whole series um, of videos that I'm making, is that with any one of these questions, there's actually multiple ways of getting these answers. I'm just going to show you guys a couple of them, and I think when I look at the exam paper, just the practice paper that they released, it seems like this is coming under the factorizing section. All right, let's have a look at another question. So in this case, we've got the rectangle's area is given by 4x squared y plus 16xy cubed. Its base length is 4xy. How high is the rectangle? Okay, so we know that area of a rectangle can be written as base times height. So the area is equal to 4x squared y plus 16xy cubed equals base is 4xy and multiplied by height. So, as I said before, got a couple of ways of doing this, but I'm going to try and do this, uh, the factorizing method. So, on the left-hand side, I want to take 4xy out because, well, partly the reason why I want to take it out is I know that 4xy is here by itself. So, if I take 4xy as a common factor, so i got to look at what do I multiply by 4xy to get 4x squared y. So, that's going to be x plus 4 times 4 is 16, 
x times 1 is x, so I'm not going to add anything. y times y squared would equal uh, 4 16xy cubed. So this is what this looks like, which means I can kind of see that the height equals to this. So I can actually say height is equal to x plus 4y squared. Now remember I showed you another method earlier in this video. If I were to use that method, I could say that 4x squared y plus 16xy cubed equals um, 4xy times h. So I divide both sides by 4xy. So that way they cancel out here. And all I have left over is h equals 4x squared y divided by 4xy plus 16xy cubed divided by 4xy. And when I simplify it, and my two fours cancel, y and y cancel, and I'm left with just x to the power of 1 plus, and then on this side, I've got x and x cancelling, 4, 16 divided by 4 is 1, so that's going to be 4. So what I have is 4, and then y3, that's going to be y2. So I've got 4y squared. So as you can see, same answer, two different ways of doing this. All right, that's basically it for this uh, little short video, guys. Thank you for watching, and uh, if you have any questions, pop it in the comments below.